Hello, everybody. Yes, it's me. It's spring. The hair got short. Uh, and this got cleaned up because, you know, you got to. It's that time of year. They were looking a little shabby. But it's okay. We're working in the greenhouse. Uh, let me get the camera turned around and I'll show you what I'm working on. I'm trying something a little different. I've never done it this way, but I have the space and the stuff to do it, so we thought, what the heck, we'd give it a try. I've got my trays of green onions, and I'm pulling out, well, if I grab only one side, I'm pulling rows out, if I can get them picked up. You know, I got them, they're all rooted together, and then I just pull on them a little bit, and I pull them apart, and I did a few of them, or an extra row, uh, so I, because I don't have my tripod, uh, but there I'm just pulling them apart into chunks, and taking individual ones, if I get it in the camera, and turn my camera in my hand at the same time, and then I'm just planting them in these boxes in rows, and kind of shooting for inch and a half, two inches apart, kind of depending on the roots, kind of just shoving them down in and covering them up with the potting soil. And these are green onions, so we're stacking them in pretty tight. Well, if I guess if I watch what is going on in my phone and what I'm doing at the same time, it makes the video a little better for everybody else. And just covering the roots up. Uh, that was an extra root. But just kind of making general rows, kind of eyeballing it, uh, two inches-ish, an inch and a half, two inches apart. Uh, they are a lot closer than what I would do. If they were, I was planting these outside, I'd probably leave them about that same distance apart. But I usually have my rows farther apart. Um, but I'm trying to utilize my space in the greenhouse. Uh, and just going like this just shoving them in I'm kind of trying to get everything to lean the one way that way it makes it easier to do the next row with get them out of my way and I'm just kind of eyeballing not paying super close attention to distances you know just getting it close because you don't have to be perfect when you're a gardener you just got to be close which is the nice thing because plants are pretty forgiving. Uh, then I split them apart in here so I got all these extra roots. So I don't have that many extra roots sticking up. And if I do, I'm just throwing a little bit of dirt on. Just grab another one. Ooh, I grabbed two. Shake them apart. It's hard to kind of do with one-handed. I need to just grab a tri cheap tripod and just leave it in the greenhouse. That way I always got one here. But since it's Saturday and the wife... It's not working right now because of this coronavirus thing, you know. Schools are shut down and she's a substitute teacher. Kind of makes it... Yep, yeah, and I've got Nora in here playing in the dirt too. Uh, she's behind me here playing with her tractors in the dirt. And her animals. Uh, and she has a track hoe? Oh, she has a track hoe too, apparently. So we're just out here... I'm planting green onions uh, since they're looking so nice. I've got a whole stack of these black boxes. It's a small mountain of them. And so we've got potting soil. We do have some peat that if I need to start mixing it, I can. But I just brought the wheelbarrow over and dumped some in. Both of these boxes that I got going. And so it's not taking a whole lot. It's just getting them separated is the hardest part um, to do, especially with no camera or no, withholding the camera. Uh, but I just, these ones over here that are laying over here, I just kind of shove them over with my hand when I plant. Grab another one and just keep filling. And hopefully, well, I'll get them watered in really good here in just a little bit. And hopefully we'll have some great early green onions. And these are some that I had started from seed. So we could have these 
If it works out, my plan is to try to have these a longer season. Because then it doesn't matter what the weather does outside because I have probably a hundred, well, I got more than that. I've probably got 400 of these boxes in the shallow and the deep and we use them for everything. I got it as a table here right now to keep that up so I didn't have to bend over as far. And I'm just sitting here. I do have my zucchini in the back. I just thought I'd show them off because, and then the flowers are still looking pretty. Uh, they are getting a little bit to the end of the life. I did find we had a few bugs in here, so I had to spray some neem oil. Um, they didn't seem like they bothered the onions like they did everything else, but that's all I've got going on today. Uh, it's Saturday the 28th-ish, I think. So we're just working out here. Uh, the wife's working in the big greenhouse, suckering and working on the tomatoes and Nora and I are working on this and then here in a little bit we're going to get some more blocks brought in here so we can set another table up because I'm out of room. Actually I'll do a quick walk through. What else? I've got onions, my flowers, these, there's 81 zucchinis. Um, I've got Nora playing in the dirt and I have to show everybody my green beans. I still haven't got my cabbages planted, but these aren't looking bad, but I've got this side clear full and I've got this side clear full. And if anybody's needing any plants that's close, let me know. Um, I haven't set a price on them. I do have some big pots of big peppers. I've got some more green onions going. This is all peppers, a few tomatoes, and eggplants. And I've got more stuff started. I've got my peach seeds, which they take a while, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. i got my watermelon seed in the back. Uh, I've got, what is that? Oh, more green onions, flowers, flowers, lettuce. Uh, kohlrabi, flowers, I replanted the, uh, whatchamacallit, the cactuses, that's the word I'm looking for. I got another flat of eggplants, more flowers, my last peaches, flowers, 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 uh, red cabbage, green cabbage and broccoli, and some four packs of broccoli. Uh, and then I'll spin this way. I try not to make you too dizzy. I've got kale, leaf lettuce, and spinach that we're going to use to make salad bowls. Uh, we take some big bowls and put dirt in them and plant the lettuce in them. And then we got all the peppers and all that stuff. So I'm out of room. I'm kind of keeping this spot open right here for the uh, transplanting and planting. Uh, it's made it really nice. I usually have the wheelbarrow sitting here with the dirt so that I can pot stuff or put the dirt in the cells or the pots or whatever we're doing and we can transplant and I've got the board for seeding and I still got my bucket of seed. Uh, my other stuff uh, should be coming from Roop um, and then I've got more pots. I got more pots and I got more out there. Uh, this is my second time we filled this clear full and it's looking like if the sun comes out we're probably going to move some more dirt. Uh, the kohlrabi are looking really good. Oh, we forgot Nora's green beans. She'll be mad if I don't show her green beans. The Nora's green beans are starting to flower. Oh, I forgot to show this. I'm walking fast. I just watered it so I have things down. I've actually got a cherry tomato blooming in this greenhouse along with all of the kinds of tomatoes in the big greenhouse blooming so yeah we've got a lot of stuff going on look at these herbs they are looking wonderful basil compact basil or this is sweet basil compact basil cilantro or you can save the seeds and make coriander and dill and then I've got more herbs back here Rosemary, oregano, and sage. Um, 
Oh, I got more down here too. My flowers were in the way. Uh, we've got sage and lavender. And then more tomatoes and these are all flowers. I got a marigold. Almost ready to bloom back there. It's just starting. I got to get them transplanted, but I got to get them onions moved so I can get blocks in here so I can move one of these big tables. Always something to do. Uh, we'll get busy. I, I really am liking my miracle Grow waterer. That sucker puts a great pattern out, plus it mixes your fertilizer right to the water, and you don't have to mess with it. And then I've got the little squirty for when I'm not fertilizing. So, but this lettuce is ready to cut or eat or transplant or something. Oh, I got a leaf that got pinched. But yeah, it's getting crowded enough. We got to do something with it. And I don't know if we're going to eat it or if we're going to try to sell it or what. So, oh well. You guys have a happy day and take care of yourselves and wash your hands. Everybody be safe. Talk to you guys later.